Hey guys, it's Mike here. The weather right he right now isn't too good, so uh, I can't really get outside. So instead of doing a uh, RC playing video, I'm going to uh, work on something that, that I've been playing on my um, RC truck. Uh, it's a brushless motor upgrade. Currently, I'm using a brushed motor. Uh, this is my Traxxas Stampede XL5. I was having problems with the old motors, constantly having to replace them. They'd overheat, they'd lose power, they'd fail, and I was just throwing my money away. I wanted something that would last and was faster. Um, also, I wanted something that I could run with a two or three cell LiPo. Uh, you get more power out of the um, LiPo battery. So I bought a new brushless motor from Hobby King. It's called it an X-Car brushless power system. It's 3000 kV and it runs at 45 amps. Uh, Hobby King sells this in other sizes too. Uh, it's made for most 1 10th and 1 12th scale trucks, cars, buggies. One thing you want to do is check the shaft size on your old motor and make sure it's the same as this new one, which this one is about 3.15 millimeter, which is a, happens to be identical to what's on the Traxxas Titan 12T 550 motors. So it's the um, pinion gear that fits right on here should fit it just fine. If it doesn't, if it's not that same shaft size, what you can do is you can just buy a different pinion gear to fit on the new shaft and just use that with your vehicle. Okay, let's open the box and see what it comes with. It's got the brushless motor here, the ESC. Pull apart this plastic here. It's got a programming card here. Sensor cable here. And at the bottom it's got a nice instruction manual. Okay, so this is the brushless motor. Uh, it's an in-runner motor. Um, I'll throw some specs on the screen for you. Um, you can see on this side of the motor it's got um, a, B, and C labeled for the different tabs where you uh, solder your connectors to. It's 11.5 turns. Right here is the, the sensor connector here. This motor is actually shorter than the stock motor that I had in my Traxxas Stampede. Width wise, I think the width is about the same. Shaft size is the same, just a little bit longer. The other thing uh, I noticed about this motor is it's nice and contained very well sealed compared to the stock motor uh, so you're not going to get a lot of dirt and grime inside it now this motor has some protections built into it it'll shut down automatically if the battery voltage gets too low um, so that's important for lipo batteries um, if the motor gets too hot uh, if you lose your throttle signal or if the motor gets blocked for some reason some debris or something gets in there okay so let's take a look at the ESC it's got these three wires here which go to your brushless motor. They're labeled A, B, and C on the side here. The manual does say that you want to make sure that you connect these to the right tabs on your motor labeled A, B, and C. Um, it's also got your red and black wires here. This is where you would put your battery connector on here. This right here is uh, some extra capacitors probably to uh, even out the power. It's got a nice little fan on the top um, with a, some, a bit of a heat sink beneath that to help cool, the, cool this thing. Uh, it's got a switch here, on off switch, which you could probably take some double sided tape, put it on the bottom of that and tape it where you want. On this side, if you look closely, you can see where it says uh, receiver, uh, setup, and fan. So the fan right here has its own separate connector so I suppose you could um, take this fan connector loose not run the fan or even upgrade the fan if you'd want now the throttle this is the throttle cable uh, this plugs into your receiver you want to make sure that you have the black plugged into the ground side of your receiver also you use the you plug this thing into your programming card so that you can um, program it. Gives you this nice programming card. It's a little bit thick, small enough to fit it in your pocket. Uh, it's got buttons on the front here. On the top it's got places where you can plug in the connection from your ESC. You plug in a, the servo wire 
and then it's also got you can externally power this if you want if you don't want to get the power from your ESC it's got these buttons on the front here menu value okay and reset it's got these LEDs for menu and value so you find the right menu option that you want to set and then the value that you want to set for that it has the menu items listed on this it's got menu items 1 and 2 listed on the front and menu items 3 through 10 listed on the back and it has the values for each one of those you get this sensor cable here uh, one end of this is going to plug into your ESC the other end is going to plug into the actual motor So, so supposedly what the sensor gives you is uh, smoother startups and acceleration. I should also note that you can use this ESC with a non-sensor motor if you want. You just don't use the cable. Now this ESC supports two and three cell LiPos as well as uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. It comes with this pretty nice manual. Um, it is pretty detailed. Um, the language in it is okay. Um, not real good English but uh, it is very detailed there's enough in here that um, you can go by it does go through all of the settings for the programming and tell you what each one means so that's pretty easy to follow so let's quickly talk about the stock motor that came with the stampede uh, it's a Titan 12 turn 550 motor I'm gonna throw some specs on the screen this is the stock ESC this is the called the XL5 the motor and the ESC and the servo in this unit are all touted to be waterproof and through a lot of my testing I found that, that most of the time that was true and I didn't have any problems with um, water shorting this thing out. The new motor and ESC that I bought is not waterproof. Now Traxxas claims if you use this stock ESC configuration on the XL5 with the stock motor the right gearing, the right battery uh, that you can achieve 30 miles per hour. Um, I was never able to achieve that. Realistically, I was only seeing about 23 miles per hour. Thanks for watching part one of the brushless motor upgrade video series. Be sure to check out part two where I cover the installation process and part three where I put it to the test, racing head to head with the same truck using the stock motor.